So, first, first talk, Hannah Jones from Marine Discovery, Fair and Sands. Come up, Hannah. Hannah's going to talk about setting up a local association for whale watch operators and her experiences there. Hi, I'm trying to get it all set and get it by and this might be a bit hard. Um, yeah, we're from Cornwall, that's in South West England, very fast hit. Um, and we set up last, uh, this time last year, an association called Imagine Sabina, Cornwall Marine Life Boat Operators. Um, Okay, so in case you don't know, and apologies if you do, Cornwall's right at the very far southwest tip of the UK, so sticking right out into the Atlantic. Well, and dolphin watching is pretty new there, last 10 years only. We don't tend to generally call it well and dolphin watching specifically, uh, more marine wildlife watching. I don't know if you can make out the photos there, but um, it's just an indication of what it's like around Cornwall, it's generally mild, frequently extremely windy, kind of have the same conditions that Nick has to go with in Ireland. Um, so it's more or less the same latitude as Newfoundland, but quite a lot warmer. Um, so in Cornwall itself, we've got three coasts, south, west and north, all very um, different to one another. Um, the whole area is generally very reliant on tourism, there's not much industry, um, and it's pretty low income compared to some of the wealthier areas of the UK. So the weather conditions and the wildlife we see is all dominated by the Atlantic and the Gulf Stream. Um, so there's an indication of what we do see very quickly. Over the course of the summer, we would generally expect to see common dolphins, harbour porpoises, and bottlenose dolphins. They're our main three species of cetacean. When we see whales, it's generally minkies. Um, I don't know if you can see the rizzos there, but um, they'll appear four times a year or so. And then um, a lot of our tools are also made up of sightings of basking sharks, um, ocean sunfish, and then seabirds, and I said that back to, <laughs> we saw a few of those last year and, and this year, um, and grey seals too, not common seals, or harbour seals, I think you call them here, grey seals. Um, so there are a few of us around the county, Penzance right on the end, um, ignore that area, ignore that reference to Padstow, Newquay, and Falmouth, they're where my business are located. We came together um, because of issues that are faced all around the world. So um, it's a growing industry in the southwest, um, and it's starting to include some people who are slightly less than ethical, let's say. Um, there's a growing awareness amongst the British public that there is a lot out there to see, and they want to see it, including people who've got their own boats, um, and we want to try and reach out to those as well. There's a lack of joined up thinking um, with data collection. That's a big thing of what we do, is, is collecting meaningful data on the cetaceans that we see around our coast. Um, increasing scrutiny from NGOs and their volunteers, very well meaning, um, lots of cliff-based watching going on, um, who might not necessarily know too much about what we do on the boats. Um, and then amongst the general public as well, there are existing guidelines in place, but they might not necessarily know too much about them. You've got this thing called the WISE scheme in the UK, and it's often just used for that or on a WISE operator, but the public don't actually know what that means. So we came together um, just to try and sort out some of these issues. First meeting was in, um, that's in 2012, sorry, <laughs> that's 2013 this year, um, over in Falmouth, a few businesses plus some of the staff from the Marine School and then a few others. And um, so this year has been very much a, a breaking ground sort of year, nothing. It was, the idea was to build a relationship between the businesses, building trust. A lot of these businesses are each other with hackles raised, growling, um, you know, the kind of thing. So the kind of, we, we had to establish trust between the businesses. Um, and when we did that, we found we had lots in common, lots of issues in common, primarily to do with um, the boats not acting perhaps as we would wish them to do. Um, and we wanted to decide what was important and build the future from there. Um, oh my lord. Um, okay. <laughs> so, lots of positives this year, mainly in terms of getting relationships off the ground and sharing ideas um, and ironing out issues and deciding where we want to go and strengthen numbers. Problems including lack of trust in one another, lack of um, trust in our own ability or some of the businesses' ability to undertake that research. 
Um, and then just general dealing issues with organisations such as who's in charge and why, um, strength, uh, uh, well, I'll leave that there. Okay. Most important things were we came up with a set of guidelines we were all to exhibit on our boats and share with the public how we were operating, why we were doing it like that. They have to be very visual um, so that people who didn't understand English their first or language would understand them. We had to share with the passengers why we were doing it. Um, we had to reflect upon encounters after they had happened, what had happened, why it had happened, and then sharing the best stories. <laughs> practice if things go wrong and there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I have to say so much. Um, I just say one more thing. Those are, the, those are the guidelines we came up with. They're very pictorial, they're very cartoon based um, and I hope I can answer the rest of my talk in any questions you might have. Now.